What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series where we look at the, some of the young town on the Football Manager 2021 and see how they get on over the course of their careers. All these players are players that have been suggested or slash requested by you, your viewers. So first of all guys, don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new as well and check out the Twitch and Twitter links, Discord, and my main night podcast down below as well. If you want to get your player featured on these videos, all you've got to do is leave a comment down below, leave as much info as you can on the player name, position, age, club, nationality, all that stuff. Check the playlist, make sure he's not been done already, and make sure you check out the schedule as well. Make sure he's not been requested to be done already, and also two requests at a time, basically meaning you leave your request for two players. Once or two have been done, then you're free to make two more requests. Just to be fair, if people make sure everyone gets a fair crack at their, get their videos done relatively quickly. Also, plus side, due to lack of hours at work now, due to the uh, Christmas period being over, I've got more free time, so I can render more. I can do more of these requests a bit easier, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so this player is Yusuf Demir, um, a player that I've got my eye on already because of the fact I'm going to start my United save after I finish the video tonight. I want your winger to develop, and this guy could be good for me if, if he develops quite well. I've even gone as far as to prepare the scouting and my United manager already. T, I'm on the ball today, folks. Unlike me, you, unlike me, isn't it? What stands out? Well, he's his marking is shit, so don't sign him, folks. He's useless. Obviously, I'm kidding. Or say, or to quote Gavin Stacey, Gavin Stacey's um, Uncle Bryn, <laughs> joking I am. Um, love that stage, by the way. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see here, um, I would prefer, I play him left wing, right wing, sorry, because he's left footed, um, dribbling 15, marking, passing 14, technique 13, great termination, pace is good, termination, um, could be handy, let me know guys if you found that yourself, moves balls, left forward, dribbling attempt, likes popping the feet, likes the beep men repeatedly and cuts inside from right wing, very strong left foot, Reads well on his right. Um, scout report. Let's have a look here. Okay, sufficiency, right? Um, very consistent. Fair amount of pace. Can play in two positions. Um, obviously, these are all um, things you can work on. Lack of a game intelligence to keep at higher levels. Sorry, 17. Bear that in mind. Um, has work to do in the heading department. Again, not an issue for me. Not an issue for me. Couldn't play a two star potential. Couldn't. Sorry, sorry, wow. Messed that up, didn't I? Current ability two stars, potential four and a, three and a half, potentially four and a half star. Let's try and ask the agent about availability. They don't want to sell him. Get that. He is um, extremely interested in joining Manchester United. So a top level club in England like Man United could probably get him. So one million pound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a proper negotiation. I'm going to take these two things out because this is what I usually do. Get these out. So let's offer them ten million. Just as a starting figure so 33.5 let's just go with let's go with 17 million pounds 25.5 okay let's keep negotiating let's go to around 20 20 to 24 million pounds so okay it's locked in there now so maybe it's lowest down to like 18 million pounds straight cash deal and 20 million pounds up front okay yeah you're getting the figure based around you're looking at around 20 to 30 million pounds. Obviously, you can take these things out. If I take these, if I took, if I took these out and went for 20 million pounds straight cash, and with obviously that in there, yeah. So you can get him for 24 million pounds, assuming he scores the goals. Obviously, I'm doing this quite quickly, so bear that in mind. You can probably do better. Um, the goal is than me. I, I, I like this guy. I really, really do. If you can go in more depth and make it tailored. You know, kind of based on goals, say it's the appearances. If he, you know, scores X amount of goals over the course of his contract, 50 goals, whatever, if you if can get him to agree to that, obviously, may get a better deal than I did there. First jump, let's get to it. So, actually, guys, I went, I went a bit further than I usually do. I went a bit further in the simulation. Uh, he's now 24 years old. Um, so, rather than redo it to a small gap, I thought I'd just keep as it is. Uh, for this episode, but wow, I think what we're doing anyway would have been 20 then 20 and 24. So 
I've only done an extra couple of years really, um, two or three extra years really, so it's not that much difference massively. But you can see here, quality player, dribbling, finishing, passing, fantastic. Concentration, termination, off the ball, brilliant. Pace is good, agility is good, player traits are extensive. Um, I like this guy, I really do. Let's look at his injury record here. Relative injury free, in my opinion. Uh, don't mind, don't mind that at all. So, I've been a, I'm guessing you have got the right there, two and two, 12 and three, then one, and then moved to Dortmund for 27.5 million pounds. So, similar what to we, what we agreed for him early on, really. Dortmund first season didn't do much, they got three and one, 10 and one, nine, seven and one. This guy is fantastic. I think get him early on, even early on, I think you could start him in Premier League games with it, and I think you'd do all right. Obviously, you've got a bit of right winger, maybe not, because you obviously play that guy more than him. But I like the passing, the technique, the dribbling, the finishing, the pace is good as well. I, 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 I like this guy, I really do. The fact you can play Cam as well at AMC is also very handy as well. So, I want to see, can he get double figures for goals consistently? The finishing is there, the pace is there, the composure is not great, but concentration, concentration is good. Off the ball's there. Let's see if he can do it. Well, guys, this guy's fantastic. I would say buy him day one if you can. Um, and if you can get a structured deal in based on appearances and goals, even better. Because look at the technique, look at the technical abilities on him. This guy is fantastic. Um, and the pace, obviously, you know, I'm a sucker for pace. Um, player traits, there's so many, I'm not going to read them out. Look at that, it's extensive. So, I'd say he's, he's um, very good at uh, being adaptable and, you know, learning things. And though that's a lot of player traits, I will say that. Uh, injury records, have a look here. Again, I don't think that's much of an issue for me personally. I don't think there's a problem there for me. So, let's have a look at the last four years or so. So, he got 7 and 1 that year. Then, didn't many play many games that year. But then, a great year, got 17 goals and 2 assists. Then, again, didn't play him much next season. Then, they put him again. It's just weird. I don't know why they're not playing him. Because this guy looks fantastic. You saw there when he played, we look at the last season we had a good amount of games from the start, he got 17 goals. Um, I mean, he's been, he's been played mixed around a little bit so far, obviously, you know, but this guy is fantastic. You know what? Looking at him here, you could make him a striker. You could actually make him a striker. Obviously, you wouldn't with the, with the way he likes to play, he likes to look for a pass from time to score and move off the left, and, you know, and cut inside and that kind of thing. Um, but if you were to, you know, if you if you could get those off him and make him more a striker, the finishing's there, the composure's not bad, off the ball's good, technique's good as well, pace is there. You know what? It, 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 it's workable, isn't it? As a maybe not maybe a regular striker, but maybe a, a striker you play as a makeshift one, like backup when you've got injuries and you want to just play someone there for the time being. This guy is fantastic, and the fee you're paying for, we saw that's twenty million pounds start of the game. That's me just. Quickly doing negotiations, not going in depth and looking at it and trying to scale it and that kind of thing. So I reckon he's a bargain for that price. I really do. It's actually a brilliant transfer. Uh, obviously, like I said, this is with the game simulating these abilities. Not you guys, who I'm assuming are better than me and the game combined. Right, foul jump. Can he get that consistency in front of goal of double figures? Let's find out. Well, he said at Dortmund, obviously a bit of a drop off now. But still not bad, is he really? And he's going to Zebre. I can't say the name for legal reasons. Um, <laughs> I should probably, probably can't go out. Injury record, pretty good. Uh, look at his development here again. A lot of player traits on him there. Career stats, have a look here. So, where did we end it? It rounded up here, wasn't it? So, 7 and 2, 7 and 10, 8 and 3, 3 and 3. 12 and 4. I don't know why he's so inconsistent. He has one year when he goes go, gets double figures, then he doesn't. Again, there's, there's factors that influence that. Maybe maybe the manager didn't quite work out. Maybe he was just unhappy with the manager's start of football. Maybe, you know, you know what I mean? Things can you know, it's only so much you can glean from looking at numbers. But this guy is, I think, a bargain. He's absolutely fantastic. The money you're paying for, which is like 30 million pound, um, I think it's a bargain. I really, really do. I think he's, I think he's fantastic. I don't think you have, I don't think, I don't think you have, you have a problem signing him. I would say if you can try and get some claws in there, but certainly maybe goals because maybe if you struggle to score goals in your team, um, you save money. But I don't think he would for you guys. I think you guys would do better with with him and the AI has. Everything's there. The pace is there. The composure is there. Vision's not bad either. 
technique, passing, it's all there. Just work on his maybe placing shots in the corner, maybe or something like that. I don't know. But he, he has done well. Fantastic player. Um, good price. And I think some of that you should all look to sign if you're doing a bigger big club. Or if you're doing a club that's building something, maybe keep an eye on him for you get me get the funds to make buy him down the line in the future. So if you've got a play you want me to do, feel free in the comments section leave, leave his name as much info as you can and I'll get round to him as soon as I possibly can. In the description we've got the schedule every evening around after nine o'clock I'll update it uh, to what I've done during the day. I don't call usually past 9 pm. This is a different I'm doing this 11, 11, 11 pm at night. But I will try to do as much as I can. Much as I can. The good news, guys, is I've got a lot more free time than I have usually over Christmas now. Now it's over, so more content should get recorded uh, coming up. I'm still not sure about the schedule, guys. I want to make this daily, but I want to do FIFA content as well. And I'm struggling with the schedule, so there might be a possibility whereby I do this every other day, every Monday, every every other day. So today you get upload, next day you don't, and every other day it's basically one day FIFA, one day Stars of Tomorrow. More likely option would be that I do this every day. But FIFA's every other day, um, just so it's a bit, you know, so it's not, you know, because uh, I think this series is very popular and I enjoy doing it as well. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another review. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.